I am using the iGel Diamond e-file, the desktop model. It just arrived and it comes with a little starter set. Um, it has two fine arbor sanding belts, uh, two medium and two coarse. And then it has a variety of these different bits. So I don't know and it doesn't say, and I've had trouble finding out from the company what this material is. It does not look like the other bits that they sell uh, on their website. I don't think that these are carbide. I don't think they're diamond. I could be wrong since I'm a newbie, but uh, what it seems to come with is an under nail cleaner or to do fine um, cuticle and sidewall work. I believe that this is a flame bit. I'm not sure. Uh, I did try it out a little bit earlier and it seems like it can get into some of those tight spots. There's a shaping bit. I think that this is very fine. I don't have a lot of experience with this, but if I compare it to the levels of coarseness of these arbor bands that are in here, this is like the fine one. And actually these other two uh, barrel bits also have that kind of fine feel to them. They've all got the same sort of texture. So for whatever that's worth. Um, the sixth bit that's included in the set is this mandrel bit. And I'll be using and keeping this one for myself. <laughs> I'll put it in my little bag uh, so that I keep it separated from the one that I used for my friend or my, my mom. Um, so I was playing around with this because I've seen these horror stories, <laughs> horror photos, I should say, where people use e-files for the first time and just completely destroy their nails. So I've definitely been very timid, um, but I've been playing around with this. The power switch is over here on the side and I've got it on. The only thing that's maybe a little confusing about this is that the forward reverse buttons down here change color. I'll just show you here if I operate the foot pedal. Um, that's the green. And then that's the blue. So I'm not still 100% confident about <laughs> what the green color represents and what the blue color represents. I feel silly because I feel like it should be in the instructions, but it, it doesn't really, at least from you know what I've read here, uh, I don't know if green corresponds to forward and blue is reverse or if that's vice versa. But anyway, I had some nail art here that I was going to soak off today. I don't like using soak off methods. I think it just makes my skin feel really weird and I don't like that it weakens my nails. So my goal was just to kind of work on that. So I've been using the fine arbor band and I have removed my little red riding hood that was on there kind of down to that point. And I was gonna show you what it's like to take this off because with the nail stamping that I do and all of the layers of polish that end up on there in this kind of reverse stamping, this can take a really long time to do a soak off method with. And because I've got a gel underlay, I have Orly Gel Effects Bodyguard on all of my nails. I don't want to use acetone. So I feel like it could be good to just try this out. So I've got the machine set at about 3000 RPMs. And it's not that fast. I mean, you know, like it certainly isn't going to hurt me at that point, which makes me feel a little bit better because this is kind of scary. I really feel like part of what I need to prove to myself is that 
I can do this and not end up bleeding <laughs> like what I've seen in some pictures. And that's funny because I feel like there's all these things that happen in our life where we learn from other people and then we get really scared because, you know, they just went in there and just went ham, turned the machine up to 20,000 RPMs and whatnot. So at 3,000, like it's not taking it off. Like maybe I'm just getting through the top coat. I had a, a hollow taco super glossy. And then over that was the OPI matte coat. So the vision that I had of just ruining my nails <laughs> is not happening. So that's the good news. I mean, I'm definitely timid about this. And I feel like at this rate, it would take a while to get that off. So options include, let's try turning this up to like 5,000 and let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Oops. My cuticle a little bit, but it's not bad. Okay, so I'm getting through the white outline layer, which was when I did my reverse stamping the bottom most one. Bye bye little skull. I was so proud of these. It took me forever to finally grow my nails out to the length where I could fit this entire design. So I have a lot of fondness for this. All right, so 5,000, still not doing so much. I guess that's eight. Well, or like seven and a half. The markings are imprecise for people like me who are bad with numbers. All right, so what I'm gonna do is change bands. I believe that this is probably a medium. Like I said, I'll keep that. Let's try medium. Gonna turn this back down to 3000. I mean, I don't know if the direction makes a difference and I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I think that that's, boy, it goes so fast. It's just really hard to even know which direction it's going. I think that blue is going clockwise. <laughs> I'll email the company. Anyway, all right. It's funny because I bought a practice hand, but I guess I'm not that scared because here I am using my real one. I'm definitely not judging anybody that hurt themselves with this thing. I think it's just such human nature that we want to like jump in there and try it out. Well, like, oh, it can't be that difficult, right? I feel like I want to change directions here. I don't know why it just seems like it would help. <laughs> that caught a little, uh, a little thing on the, um, <laughs> on the towel. All right. But it stopped. So that's good. So I feel like at this point, if I used nail polish remover, 
I will have drastically reduced the amount of time that I need to spend using nail polish remover. So let's do it and see what happens. Hopefully you're able to hear me. I've got a fan going for air cleaning purposes. So I've been using um, this Target brand of non-acetone polish remover. I don't love it. It's just, I don't know, whatever. But that's the thing, polish remover in general is just pretty irritating. So normally if I was gonna do this, I would have to go through like seven or eight cotton balls, you know, to just get even one hand clean. Um, and that's just super frustrating. So like I said, you know, I'm looking for anything to speed up this process. All right. Because I feel like once you have the maniology, no smudge top coat and then like a hollow taco super glossy top coat <laughs> and then a matte top coat you know it just ends up being a lot of layers of clear to get through and then like i do so much reverse stamping and it just takes like forever sometimes to get it off okay so this is stinging a little. I don't remember if I got it on camera, but I had a moment where I like got my cuticle a little bit with the sander, the e bit, the e file. Okay, this is like absolutely faster. I mean, there's no question about it. I feel like the couple minutes that I spent just sanding, and I feel like you know, as I gain more confidence, I would get faster doing this, like, obviously I don't want to end up bleeding. So I'm using really low RPMs, but I think that this would be a really useful skill because like, here we go, like this already after, I don't know, just a minute or whatever is like way further along in the removal process. Like that's my nail bed, you know, it's like pretty much off. So I could finally get back to like shaping these guys. They really need some, they need some shaping. But I hesitated to do that with so much distracting like art on top because shaping is so tough. <laughs> I was working on my middle and my index finger a couple of days ago and it's like, it just took forever to get it to be even kind of a ballerina shape, kind of. And I didn't get it centered properly, so. It's disappointing. <laughs> I think I will definitely be doing this, you know, as like a combo, you know, file down through most of the nail art, get it down to this point, and then, you know, Keep going with some of the wet stuff to get it off. Also, my pinky and my thumb had the Orly Fairy Godmother breathable polish. Any metallic I found is always just more durable <laughs> so at this stage it's more annoying so i obviously still don't have any experience <laughs> really uh, with the diamond desktop e-file from iGel, but I would say that for the first time, this is not a complete disaster and I still have fingers. <laughs> Didn't destroy my fingers. It's 
So I'm definitely happy that I got that. And I think that as time passes, I'm going to get a lot more confident with it and I'm going to get a lot more proficient, you know, using it. But so far, so good. And definitely useful. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch through this. I'd say we're, I'd say we're done, but I'd say that that is not, not a disaster. Thanks for watching. <laughs>